Hey guys, and welcome back to Illy's Beauty Box. My name is Liliana. If you're new, hello and welcome. You guys can call me Illy for short. Today's video is gonna be a review slash uh, demo, and it's gonna be on the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I also will be carrying it with the Infallible Fresh Wear 24 hour foundation. I know a lot of people have given up many many reviews I have a little bit more of mature skin and my skin tends to be more on the dry side Combination to dry especially now. It's been so cold outside My skin has been acting up and that is why I found it to be the perfect time to try it out to see how it holds up um, I will be showing the demonstration after this introduction so if you guys just want to skip to the demonstration, I'm going to put a timestamp down below. You're more than welcome to forward to that part. I also want to let you know that the foundation is available in 30 shades. And I found that it was a very light to sheer. It's like sheer to full coverage. The bottle claims that it's matte, but I find that my skin has a very nice glow to it, which I found that really nice. And it doesn't feel heavy at all like I don't feel that I'm wearing foundation which is another plus for me because I like to feel my skin and not to feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup and then the concealer is available in 25 shade the shade that I'm currently using for the concealer is latte and I have 470 and 455 on the foundation in case you're wondering you feel like you're probably within my complexion you can use me as a reference and purchase one of those bottles so yeah if you guys are curious and want to see the demonstration stay tuned and without further ado because I love to ramble let me stop and get into this grab a little snacky snack or if you're legally at age to have a glass of wine then by all means go grab one and that let's get into this video take care bye today la 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 i am going to be testing out some more new drugstore products which is going to be the l'oreal l'oreal infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation i have two colors i did purchase 455 before and i found that it was a little bit too pale so then i purchased the 470 and hopefully i can mix them and create my own little concoction and then i also brought the infallible full wear corrector concealer and this looks a little bit dark so 375 which is latte so i'm hoping that this is gonna actually work for me or it's gonna be a big fail i don't know but i wanted to try out the foundation so i'm gonna put like one pump just to test it and i know this is like a very sheer foundation but i have um very mature skin so i can't really go for anything that's super matte or it's gonna just make me more like it's gonna make my skin look a lot more rough than what it is and patchier so that's why i wanted to try this fresh wear to see if it's a little bit more forgiving on my skin and it's definitely a little bit dark so i think this is going to be like my summer shade and i'm gonna go in with the beauty blender because i really want like a very natural subtle look today i don't want to be extra glam i mean so far it's matching my neck so it's not that bad so i'm just gonna blend it in and i'll probably do like i do need a little bit more coverage here because i really don't like that it, it was a pimple that nobody can see or let's call it intruder because that's what i like calling them intruders and um i picked on it and picked on it and picked on it i'm gonna mix in the lighter one just a little bit like around here because i don't know if this is gonna oxidize so just in case it does it could blend in with both colors now i'm going in with the darker shade and put it on the outside and the weather's so dry here in nyc and i think it's just aggravating me so much i can't 
comprehend why. Okay, and now we're gonna do the top part. And I usually don't bring my foundation up this high. And since my skin has been acting up so much, I just put it everywhere. And I do like to put it over my lips and then later off I just wipe it. But I like how it's giving me that nice, like my skin looks really, really glowy very satin so and let's try this concealer just want to see how it feels on my skin it has a really thick dofer and oh it's light it's not that dark I thought it was gonna be darker than this usually I go in with a little concealer brush but of course I'm never prepared every time I sit down so I'm just gonna blend it with the sponge I'm starting to get really thick lines underneath my eyes let me see if I can cover that little situation that I have here this definitely has like a little green undertone it's like very olivey and so far on camera it looks good but I want to see what it looks like in the daylight so when I step out I'm gonna see if I could take some video and maybe insert it at the ending of this video okay so I'm going to set my face actually let me set my face now in front of you and what am I going to use to set my face? I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty um, Banana. This is the loose baked powder. And the color that I have is Banana Bread. Since my skin is changing, my skin tight. And I'm going to just set my whole entire face since the sponge is nice and damp. It just gives that nice airbrush feeling to it. I also brought the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder, the one underneath your eyes, and I haven't played around with that yet, so I'll probably do that on my next video. But that didn't cover that thing. Oh, I wanted to put the um, e.l.f. gel, but it's okay. Oh, and the sponge that I'm using, I love this sponge. I don't know if you ever tried it, but if you haven't, go get yourself the sponge right now. It's like $3 in e.l.f. So if you can make it to the store, make it to the store. But online, I purchased it for $3. And I'm impressed. It feels completely different from the... Um, Real Techniques. I find the Real Technique it to be a little bit too stiff. And even the Morphe is a little bit harder. But look how squishy this is. And so far I washed it. It didn't break apart. It reminds me so much of the Echo 2 sponge. That sponge, I love it. My downfall on that sponge was the minute I washed it. I would say by the third wash, it broke. But this one, I mean, I've washed it already three times. So we'll see. So far, three times has been a charm. Okay, so now I am going to bronze my face, do the rest of my face off camera, and then come back to you. So far, I love the way the foundation actually looks. Um, I am wearing the... This side looks a little bit darker than this side because I didn't mix it, but that's fine. I'm not going anywhere special. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. The time is about 2... Alexa, what time is it? It's 2.34 p.m. Okay, so it's 2.34 p.m. And I'm going to do check-ins probably about 5.30 and then maybe 8.30 and 930 just to see how this foundation wears i really want to know if it's worth the hype like everybody else is saying and especially for me since i have more mature skin so we want to see how friendly it is on women that has 40 and over skin 
and yeah all right so i'll be back i'm gonna stop rambling let me finish my makeup and i'll see you soon and yeah thank you so much for watching oh the concealer i found it that's 10.99 this retails between 10.99 to 12.99 which i found it really um a little bit on the expensive side for it being a drugstore concealer but it is full coverage and i do have like a little invader that's um unwanted and i used it to cover it up it's not covering it up 100 percent but the one part that i i found with this concealer is if i did not want to wear foundation and just cover it up with the concealer and do maybe like a light powder for my morning runs this would probably wear very well it says it's water resistant and transfer resistant so i didn't put that at the test for today but i will be doing that in the near future so be on the lookout for that i love you guys so much please share with friends and family don't forget to hit that little subscribe button down at the bottom follow me at all my other social media platforms and take care i love you guys bye 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 <laughs>